Okay, yeah, as Eugene mentioned, my name is Peter Mullen. I run BizDev and Sales for Speakeasy. Uh, Speakeasy was started with the idea that uh, the traditional conference calling experience is fundamentally broken and disjointed. Um, and so they've started out with a clean slate and designed, uh, taken up, first of all, a mobile first approach. They built a disputably designed mobile app uh, as well as a web client. But some of the things that uh, we've designed in are just uh, to do away with the traditional aggravations. So typing in long pens, uh, starting a call and waiting for the first person to join, bad hall music, um, <laughs> you know, poor call quality, et cetera, et cetera. So we kind of started with that in mind. So the first thing is uh, when you sign up for Speakeasy, you get your own personal number, you get to choose the area code and then select your own you know, what's called a DID, um, you know, in your area code, so you can always make local calls. But it's always penless, okay, regardless of what tier plan you use. Uh, the second thing is, um, um, you know, that's always yours to use, which you then give out and, in, in, you know, uh, what we call speakeasy enable. Um, we've also built some really cool design hooks. Uh, so one of the things we do is we ask you to link your calendar, and that way you can speakeasy enable any any meeting on your calendar just by pressing a convert button. I'm gonna demo the mobile app here. Um, so it's that, that simple. Another thing here is um, I've uh, created this call here where Eugene's gonna dial in, but the first couple of things is if you can have a flexible start. So you can have the system call you when the first person joins or have the system call you at the actual start time of the call so that you're not you know, busy and forgetting about when to start the call. Another thing you can do is if you're running late, you know, you're in traffic, heading up here, just one button, send an email to all the participants on the call. So Eugene's going to have invited Eugene to this call and he's going to get an email which says I'm running five minutes late. So um, and you'll see there is the notification. I get it as well as a, as a confirmation. Uh, but anyway, back to, the, back to the call, just one button dial in. So I'm actually initiating a conference calling session right here as we speak, and then I'm going to ask Gene, uh, Eugene also to, to dial in. And you'll see here it's showing that he's not on the call. You'll also see that he's, ident okay, now he's on the call. You see he's identified by name, so I don't get a, a tone and say who joined, who joined, or who dropped off or anything like that, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and mute Gene. The other capability is anybody can mute anybody else on the call. So if you've got a call where there's some background noise, then you can kind of uh, mute that person. Okay. What, the, another cool thing we have is we have a collaboration workspace. So up here where it says team and everyone, the team connotes anybody who's on your own internal team, and we um, drive that off your internal email. So team members can do things like share files, um, assign tasks or, or send notes to each other or just take notes on the call. But another thing here is we can capture sentiment. So here's Eugene. He's a really friendly guy, so you might think he's a five. But if you've ever done business with Eugene, he's a tough customer. So I'm going to you know, put him as a three because I've actually made a sales call with him and he was very clear about you know, the opportunity for me within uh, SurveyMonkey. So um, go ahead and cancel that. Another thing you can do right here from the mobile phone is, again, we've made it so you can host an entire call on your, on your mobile phone. So I'm going to share a presentation with Eugene. So what I'm going to do is, is uh, go to the Everyone tab, which means I'll be sharing this with actually everyone. And then I'm going to go out to a Google Drive, which is connected with my Speakeasy account. And then um, you know, select a, uh, a PowerPoint which then I'm going to share here on my phone. So I'm selecting the uh, Speakeasy presentation. It'll download it to my phone, depending on the, uh, the Wi-Fi connection here. Um, and then what we do is we use, we've integrated the Box View. It's, it's an in-app viewer from Box. And uh, what you can do is then share presentations right here on your phone with Eugene. Now he's dialed in via the standard dialer and not uh, by the app, so he can't sit here and show you what's going on. But when I go ahead and press the, the go button, I can then scroll through the PowerPoint right here on the phone. And you can do this for uh, Excel spreadsheets, you can do it for um, PDFs, you know, Word docs, etc. So that's kind of a really cool feature right there. And then if, if uh, he wanted, let's say Eugene wants to um, 
he once says, oh, can you share that file with me? Yeah, I can do the same thing. Just go out there, extract the file, and then go ahead and send it over to him right there inside the app. Okay, so some really cool features around, um, you know, collaboration, file sharing, presentation sharing, etc. right there on a mobile phone. Um, another thing, um, which I didn't show you earlier, but uh, we have Salesforce integration. So you see that little blue cloud by Eugene's name, that means we've integrated to Salesforce. I can go through and review the activities on Salesforce that I've done with him before. So obviously this is, you know, this is a business application and that's kind of the, the target use case we're going after, especially sales reps. But I can use this either during the call or before the call to kind of link into Salesforce and check out some of, some of what's going on with Eugene. So, okay, we conduct the call, I've captured some notes, et cetera, et cetera, and I'm ready to hang up. What I can do is when I hang up, I can log the call to Salesforce. And so via the API integration we have to Salesforce, you, you can select an opportunity, uh, which I've already created. Um, go ahead and, well, as soon as the thing quits thinking. So I select that, that particular uh, opportunity. Um, and then I select the contacts, Eugene, and then go ahead and log the Salesforce and log the high-level call details in this particular opportunity as an activity. So saving a sales rep, you know, valuable keystrokes and valuable minutes. So um, that's kind of it in a nutshell. Another thing we have here is we maintain the call history. Uh, whoopsie. So um, we maintain the call history so that if I didn't log that particular call to Salesforce, I can always go back and get it and, and log it later. Um, we also just maintain who, who was in the call and for how long, and um, if you'd capture notes, we can do that, and then you can um, share, the, share the call summary. So when you capture notes, when you capture all the people that are there, and, um, you can um, share that with everyone, share that with your internal team members, or just you know, send it to yourself. So it kind of integrates a lot of the things that you might be used, used to be associated with a conference call. Things like, you know, planning, setting up your meeting, capturing notes, logging a call summary, logging to Salesforce and call details. So the idea is to collapse a lot of those activities into the actual call itself and kind of extend the value. So uh, hopefully that gives you an idea of what we do. Um, we've also got the web client um, and right now just an iPhone app. That's what we've started and gone to market with. Uh, we built this entirely on the Twilio platform, so those of you who are familiar with Twilio, um, it's probably one of the premier APIs around for either web or, or voice enabling various applications. Um, we're funded by Bessemer Ventures and Salesforce Ventures to the tune of five million, so there's some pretty high expectations about us in going to market. So hopefully you like what you see, if, um, you know, happy to take any questions now or, you know, either now or after. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's just like a typical conference call, so if you're a participant, if you've been invited to a call, you can dial in from any phone or dialer. The only thing you won't get is just, you know, access to all the collaboration capabilities. Would you still be entering, you still be entering in a PIN code to enter into the call? Uh, no, you would just dial into the number and then you're right into the call. Each call is a unique number? Um, no, each call is the same number, and that introduces an interesting dilemma. So if, if it's always the same number, then somebody might be able to dial into your call. One of the things I didn't show you, and I should have, we have this feature, it's called the call lobby. So that when you're actually in a call, so I'm going to go ahead and just, just start an impromptu call. Okay, so... Um, we have this lock over here. So when you're in call lobby, you can turn the lobby on and it will cap the, the call at who, who's ever on the call at that time. Anybody who dials in will be put into the lobby with our elegant hold music, and then the uh, organizer will be notified that there's a caller waiting. And then if they're running back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back calls and perhaps one call runs over, then you can bring it to a graceful shutdown and, and bring the other person in on the next call. So that's kind of, kind of how we handle that. But no, no pens, ever.
Yes. Did you say you guys are funded by 250 million by sales for uh, Five million. Oh, five million. <laughs> <laughs> um, that would be nice. <laughs> So, uh, so this is a strictly mobile app, right? Well, no, we, we also have a web client that you can use from your desktop. Okay, so if you're used to using one of the traditional platforms or one of the three one, or free ones like Google Hangouts or Skype, you know, this is a worthy alternative. So you, you, your CRM is distributed. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> one at a time, please. So one last question, guys. Any more questions? Yeah. How do you charge people? Uh, we have a tiered pricing plan that starts out at $10 a month on an annual contract, $10 a month per person. Um, that's for basic audio conferencing. The mid-tier includes the collaboration, and then the enterprise tier includes uh, includes the Salesforce integration and some additional team collaboration. But uh, we've chosen not to go freemium. We think there's enough value in here to, to go to market with a, with a fully paid uh, you know, tiered plan. All right, awesome. Thank you, Peter. Right. Thank you, Thank you. easy.